Then we move on to rounding off. And I think the biggest trick with rounding off is that learners must make sense of their answer. They've got to see the context in which the questions are asked. So they need to round off to two decimal places when working with rands and cents. So what I like to say to my students is that it's like a default. A lot of them are digitally or technologically active and sound. So it's a default setting when you're working with finance, two decimal places unless I'm stated otherwise. Then they need to be aware of rounding up or down in context. So for tins or fencing, for example, and then when working with measurement, only round off your final answer. Otherwise, you are going to be getting um, rounding off errors. The other thing is we need to emphasize that pi is not a button on the calculator, but that it's 3,142. And I'd like to share a few exercises that could possibly help. So the first is a class worked example. I don't want to go through the details. Uh, I think you can do this in class. But just to let you know, the first example is where they need to, to round up based on the scenario with paint, which would work with spread rate again. And then Mary runs a lift club and to get a certain amount of money, she can't have 6,66 people. So again, make sense of your answer. I can't have a fraction of a person. So we need to round up, otherwise she won't have enough money. Then this exercise is great because you can see in your class who uses 3,142 and who uses pi on their calculator. So the quick exercise is Jenny's got certain um, restrictions for her cake and she wants to know whether her large mixing bowl will accommodate the volume of the batter. So in the answers, those that used 3,142, they would come to a volume that exceeds the mixing bowl. So their answer would be Jenny would not be able to use her mixing stand. However, those that use pi on their calculator would get the opposite answer. So this is a fun exercise to see and you can divide your, your class up, hands up who got this answer, hands up who got that answer, who's right. If you found this video useful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new episodes. Follow us on Instagram or Facebook to stay on top of the latest TAS news and launches. So that's it for now from the Answer Series, your key to exam success.